So you're relatively new to property and you wanna make six figures in your first year, this is how. So when we're looking at property investment strategies, you might not know this, but there's actually a lot more to it than you think. So most of us, when we're looking at it, we'll look at the boring vanilla buy to let properties, which are great, or flips. Now, let me just explain what I mean by them before I go into the next several strategies that we need to look at. So a flip is when you're going to buy a property, we end up doing a refurbishment on the property. Let's say that's a, a hammer. I'm terrible at drawing. There you go, a hammer. Refurbish the property and then you increase the value of the property. For example, we're gonna purchase this property at 100,000. We're gonna refurbish the property for 120,000. And then we're gonna sell the property at the end for 160,000. And the way we've done that is we've increased the value of the property through a refurbishment. We then sell the property and then minus off some fees. Let's say there's around 8,000 pounds in fees with this property. So we're all in for 100 plus the 20 plus the eight, that's 128,000. We minus that off of the 160,000 and we have made 32,000 pounds in profit. Not bad from just one property deal. And it's actually one of the best ways of making money through property. But let's head over to buy to lets. So a buy to let property is one of my favorite strategies out there, or also known as boring vanilla buy to let <laughs> properties. So this is where you're going to purchase a typical buy to let, let's say a two to four bed freehold house. And again, if we bought this for a hundred thousand, we're then gonna hold the property. So typically we're gonna put in a 25,000 pounds deposit, we're gonna have stamp duty of 3,000 pounds. We then maybe do a, a light refurbishment for 5,000 pounds. So at the moment we're in for 33,000 and then we're gonna put 7,000 pounds in fees. So all in all, we've got the deposit, we've got the stamp duty, we've got the refurbishment on there and we've got the fees adding up to 40,000 pounds. Now we're going to rent this property at 600 pound per calendar month. So that's going to be your rent. And then if we times that by 12, we're going to have 7,200. Now the thing is, if you're putting in the 25,000 pound deposit, where does the 75,000 pounds come from? Well, that's going to be a mortgage. So 75,000 is going to be a mortgage and the running costs, you're going to have the mortgage, the management, the maintenance and so on. And that 600, believe it or not, is going to become 150 a month, give or take, which is 1,800 a year. Now, this is the thing when people go, what's the point buying the property just to make 1,800 a year? Well, you've got something else called capital growth or capital appreciation. So with capital growth or capital appreciation, because of supply and demand and inflation, the property price is going to go up on an annual basis. Now, if you said on average, it goes up 5%, that's great on a yearly basis. It actually goes up 7.9%, but let's be conservative. The other thing you're going to hear is that it doubles every 10 years. So in 10 years time, that 100,000 pound property should be worth 200,000. And the thing is, that's a 100,000 pound profit, or it ends up being about 10% a year on that value. So if you've put in 40,000, and you've got 100,000 back over a 10 year basis, that is a 250% return or an annualized 25% per annum. And this is why I love boring vanilla buy to let properties because actually they're an amazing way to make money. But the reality is that's great to do that, but what if you don't have the money in the first place? And ultimately there's so many strategies that can help facilitate this, starting with my favorite deal packaging. And deal packaging is essentially like being an estate agent, but you represent the investor instead of the vendor and we're at a level now where we'll do up to half a million pounds a month that's not like buying five properties at 100k I mean in fees we make around three to five hundred thousand on a monthly basis through deal packaging you've also got service accommodation lease options 
HMOs or houses of multiple occupancy, which is where you rent out the rooms in a space, or indeed rent to rent, where you can rent a unit and then rent it out at a higher price. And you could do that with buy to lets. HMOs, where you rent the house and rent out the individual rooms. Rent to service accommodation, where you can rent a unit and then rent it out on a nightly basis. You can also do it with commercial property. So all of these are amazing ways of making money through property. Now, here's the thing. Here's how I would approach it. Now, if you've got a load of money in your pocket already, congratulations. Straight away, I'd be focusing on the boring vanilla <laughs> buy-to-let properties. But if, like me, you started with zero money or indeed in debt, here's what I would be doing and I still do today personally. I would start with deal packaging as your number one. The reason I would be starting as deal packaging is it is the fastest way of making money in property, bar none, lowest risk, and the fastest way to do it. Now, is it get rich quick? Uh, no. Obviously, there is nothing in property that is get rich quick, but bar none, don't care what anyone else says, it is the lowest amount of money you need to get involved in property, the fastest way of making money, and the safest way of doing it. Then what I do, and this is building your gold pots here, then maybe I would put it into flips. I think this gives you another unique angle on property is putting in capital that you've earned from deal packaging, you funnel the money into the flips, and then you are making even more gold and building your golden war chest ready to go into number three, which is the boring vanilla buy to let properties. And then what you can do is use your goal to buy more and more and more and more and more and more properties. And then what happens is you have Pete, you've got Sarah, look how happy these people are, you've got Sally that move into these properties, they make it their home, and then of course they pay you rent on a monthly basis. And if you've ever read The Richest Man in Babylon, what you're doing there is working hard to get your gold, putting it into an investment that pays you silver. And it pays you every single month. Ultimately, all of these strategies come back to being called a property trader. Now, if you want to be a sophisticated property investor, you become a property trader. Now, ultimately, what happens is you are in the middle of two sets of transactions. On one side, you've got the money, and on the other side, there is the property. And if you're sophisticated about this, you will ask questions. You've got two ears, these are big ears, and one mouth. If you use them in that ratio, that is a terrible drawing there. If you use it in that ratio, you'll be okay. So let's say on the investor side, if you can communicate and understand their challenges and their problems, and you genuinely listen and make them feel heard, you can apply the right solution. Likewise, with the vendor with the property, it's not always about offering a discount or offering a lease option or offering a rent to rent or offering an investment. If you can understand their problem, you are going to have the vendor being a very happy person and you're going to have the investor being happy and then all you do is match them together and you make money. Now the reality is there is only one place in the UK where you can learn all of these strategies, buy to lets, deal packaging, service accommodation, lease options, flips, HMOs and rent to rent and that is at Aspire Education, and that, that's what we do here. So one of my companies is an education company. Of course, I have this YouTube channel for you to learn as much as possible for free, but if you're serious about backing yourself and you wanna to come to an education event, then we can show you everything you need to do, and all you need to do is put education in the comments. It's not just my results, it's results of mentees like Mark Kelly, like Scott Matheson, like Jamie Holland, like Freddie, and so many more that have got incredible results. And by the way, check out our trust pilot with the most five-star reviews of any other educator. And yeah, damn right, I'm pitching myself right now. I genuinely believe we're the best in the industry. Now, you're gonna be one of the two people right now. You're gonna be somebody that's just watching to immerse yourself in education and get free content. Amazing. Hopefully, you've got value from my channel. If you're new, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell. Destroy that like button takes you 10 seconds, really makes a difference, and I'll see you in the next video.